Sunday at the Gold City 450 consists of six laps of the Charters Towers course. Three laps in the morning would see Glenn Brinkman and Dale Moskett finish sixth in the heat, despite dust being a big factor. Yeah, no, it was uh, pretty dusty as we expected, so we had no chance of really overtaking anybody. We got probably within 20 or 30 seconds, but our lap times were super consistent, really close to each other, and um, yeah, no, it was good, no, nothing to speak of really. Now, it was a really hot morning this morning, mid-30s. How did you cope in the, in the car? Uh, if I tell the truth, I just got out of the air conditioning in the car, so I'm trying to keep cool, ready for the next one. But yeah, it was uh, pretty tough out there, and I'd say it'd be tough for the guys out there now. And this afternoon, there's even some prediction of some rain, so conditions may change again. Bring on the rain, I say. But it'll probably be just muggy and hot, but uh, settle the dust would be good because there's just zero chance of overtaking anybody otherwise. But what is the strategy for this afternoon? Obviously, the whole dust thing is going to be a problem again. Yeah, look, we're, because we've clawed our way back up now, if we maintain that same one minute gap between everybody, we'll probably be happy with that result. And catching the car in front, it's a, it's a little hard to pass, isn't it? Yeah, you can't get within, at 30 seconds we've got pretty thick dust, so you know you need to be within five to 10 seconds to use rally safe or even attempt to pass. So yeah, there's not much chance. Three more laps to go. What do you think your chances of improving your position are? Yeah, I wouldn't mind getting one more spot, being the top three would be nice, so we're sitting fourth in the class at the moment, so that, that'll be our goal, I think, or, or maintain what we've got. So Dale, how was, uh, how was uh, race two this morning? Uh, another dusty one, but as I say, you come to expect that here. Uh, the course is getting, the evolution of the course is, is getting a lot rougher in places. Um, as we say, normally we write pace notes, so we're adding all those sorts of things in as we go around each time, so nothing really unexpected. Uh, we did have one overshoot in the, in the dust in one spot. There's a section of white hard road, and that white dust is very, very thick, so um, yeah, we went past the corner and had to take a bit of a cut across through the bushes to join the track again. Um, but other than that, yeah, pretty trouble free. Car going all right? Yeah, wearing things out like brake pads and your general consumables like that, nothing out of the ordinary. Um, it's been fantastically reliable so far, so uh, yeah, three more to go, <laughs> three more laps of this same course, so she'll be fairly beaten up by the end, but um, yeah, we're looking forward to have a bit of fun and bring it home.